Thank you, Miss Yermia. See you next week. They bought it. Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career and they never doubted it for a second. How could I possibly handle school on a day like this? This is my ninth Miss Jug of this semester. It's getting pretty tough coming up with new excuses. If I go for 10, I'll probably have to come up with a mild case of COVID or something. So I better make this one count. The key to faking out the Dean is the text from the parents saying you need to go home. It's a good, non-specific excuse. I'm a firm believer in it. Some may say a good fake doctor's note will get you home, but if catch Missy or me on a bad day, you could end up in her office, which is worse than Judd. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. We are, we are gathered in the auditorium balcony, a collection of crisp white button downs and baggy navy suit coats, crammed onto wooden bleachers with hundreds of strangers all around, desperately grasping at the foreign lyrics of the fight song, but singing at the top of our lungs nonetheless. Maybe we'll learn all the words someday. We are finding our lunch tables, finding our classmates, teammates, friends, we are late nights buried in notes, study guides, textbooks, and celebrating our smallest successes. Our first A, our first goal, our first Bonowa performance. We make it to spring, and suddenly something tells us, we are friars. By the next fall, we are walk and talk friars, and write this down. We are shaking knees, faltering voices, Speech is delivered at the front of room 454. And then, finally, defying all reasonable, logical explanations, we become confident. We are chem students, with our newfound Bunsen burner expertise. We are full days, busy schedules, and loving every moment. Then in an instant, we are gone. Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more Americans into virtual lockdown. Separated. Isolated, confused, scared, disappointed, as we watch event after event fall through the cracks. But we can do this, right? We will make it through. We are friars, so we adapt. Google searches for asynchronous learning, question mark. Smiling faces in Zoom boxes, choir rehearsal through tiny screens. Junior year, and finally we walk back through those doors once again masked faces, and giant arrows stuck all over. But still, something about this feels right. Something about this feels like coming home. Six feet apart, lunch with half of our class gone, yet we are here. We could have stopped when the rest of the world did, could have given up, but we said no, because we are the class that refused to leave the stage. Performances on the top of the parking deck to the beloved walls of the auditorium. We are actors, singers, musicians, dancers, gracing the stage for plays, musicals, Banua, bringing music, joy, laughter, art. We persevered because we are the class of unrelenting champions. We are touchdown and goal scoring, finish line crossing, home run hitting, pool wall out touching, three-point shot taking athletes. When there are lights on in the pool, in the gym, on the court, we are there. We're the last team for a coach who emerged victorious over a thousand times. We excelled because we are state champions on the football field, on the cross country course, in the pool, but also in STEM. We are academic powerhouses, defending aces and teams champs and learning every day. We are diving into Newton's laws, dissecting vector fields, conquering exams, and learning from the best. We are the last class for a Fenwick legend, 
Maybe you've heard of him. 59 years, a room full of trophies, theater programs, and quite possibly the most famous chalkboard in existence to this day. So now what? We are leaving behind these hallowed halls, these classrooms, these gyms, these labs, this pool, this cafeteria, this chapel, that all hold a special piece of our last four years. But we are friars, a fact etched into all of our memories, and that is what we will carry with us forever. Now, we know exactly what it means to be friars. We are an open heart and an open mind, seeking to understand and not merely to be understood. We are pools of radical kindness waiting to overflow, open to new possibilities, perspectives, opportunities, challenges. We are strong, we are eager, we are ready to expand on our academic excellence, our athletic victories, our Kairos breakthroughs, our cherished friendships, our Fenwick journeys. We are Friars. We are the class of 2022. remember I will always remember I think I'll always remember the people I met student sections and um, chanting at the freshman I would say Kairos or the football team winning state I think the first day of school was when I learned the first life lesson and it didn't ever like dawn on me till senior year but when the speaker on the first day of freshman orientation said to like look to your left and right and remember who's next to you I mean you really do remember that. Uh, my highlight of senior year is, has got to be Kairos. Uh, the highlight of my senior year? I don't know. You gotta think about that. I, oh my gosh, I have like so many I feel like. Uh, probably the people that are here. Uh, the people are just so welcoming and they, like the community is really strong here and stuff like that and you always walk into school with like your best friends, you get to talk to them every day and it's really nice to see them every day. I think the worst thing about being a senior besides the college process it's just like knowing that everything you do is like your last time doing it. Probably just like leaving everyone when I feel like, like senior year is so much fun and then now like you have to just like leave and go to college and like meet a ton of new people. I'm like, you had such a good senior year. <laughs> I always remember all of the friends I made, all the teachers who helped me. I will always remember Senior D's class, just walking down the hallways and like I know exactly who I'm gonna see every day. I always remember the people, you know, people at Fenwick are sick. Fenwick community for sure. I think it'll be like the, just the everyday stuff, like seeing the same people every day. And being serenaded by Dr. King.
Uh, to the class of 2022, thank you for the most memorable four years of my life. Bye, Fenwick! <laughs> this is the best FEMA class ever. I'm pretty grateful for the four years we had together. I'm not ready to leave you. Go Friars! I love all of you guys, and I'm gonna miss you. Peace out, bros. I love all of you. <laughs> Can't, Can't wait for the five-year five year reunion! reunion. <laughs> Wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else. My final words to the class of 2022 is we made it. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're prepared for the future. I know it's prepared you well. Thank you, Fenway, for an amazing four years. We love you, Fenway. Love you, Friar Nation. We, we love, love you, Friar Nation. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.